Hello friends, welcome back to Online Chalkboard. We are dealing with Chapter 1, Real Numbers of Class 10 CPSC. So far we have discussed about Euclid's Lemma, Euclid's Division Algorithm and also Fundamental Theorem of Arithmetic. And today we would be discussing about the rest of the exercise, exercise 1.1, few rest questions, few questions were left. We would be discussing those and uh, if you haven't, watch the previous video the link is available in the description box do follow the previous video the explanation about fundamental arithmetic is available in the previous video and do follow that and then watch this exercise questions if you are visiting this channel for the first time do subscribe this and also for receiving the notification to press the bell icon and if you're finding it useful to share it with your friends and supporters so let's move on to the rest of the exercise questions question number two Find the LCM and HCF of the following pairs of integers and verify that LCM into HCF is equal to product of two numbers. The question asks us to find the LCM as well as the HCF and to verify whether the product of the LCM and HCF is the product of the numbers. So this is simple questions. Let's do question number 2. This is similarly like uh, how we did example 7. 510 and 92. You first need to know the prime factorization of 510. 2's are because 0 is an even number. We'll of course go with 2. 2, 1, 5, 5. Yeah, the ending number is 5. Now we'll go with 5. 51. Now it's the next number we can check. Uh, one prime number was missed in between them. 3. 5 plus 1 is 6 which is a multiple of 3 the whole thing will go by 3 17 17 is a prime number so the prime factorization of uh, 510 is 2 into 3 into 5 into 17 now the prime factorization of 92 92 2 is a even number 92 is an even number so divisible by 2 46 again 2 23 23 is a prime number so 92 is equal to 2 square into 23. What's the HCF? Highest power, lowest power 2. And LCM is highest power 2 raised to 2 into 3 into 5 into 17 into 23. Now we need to check whether the product of HCF and LCM is same. LCM ARS, now we'll see LCM into HCF equals 2, 3, 4, 6, 0 into 2. That is equal to 4, 6, 9, 2, 0. And the product of 510 and 92 is also 4, 6, 9, 2, 0. So we verified that LCM into HCF is a product of the two numbers. Similarly, you can do the rest of the two questions. Uh, the first button, the third, for pra uh, do practice those questions. Now let's move on to the third question. Question number three, find the LCM and HCF of the following integers by applying the prime factorization method. This is exactly like example eight. You have been given three different numbers and we need to find the LCM and HCF. Let's do third question. Second part, S17, 23 and 29. Prime factorization of 17 is actually 1 into 17. 23 is also 1 into 23. They are all prime numbers. 29 is also 1 into 29. So the HCF of all these three numbers is 1. And LCM is actually 17 into 23 into 29. This is a case when all three numbers are prime. We will, this will satisfy that LCM into HCF is the product of these three numbers. Now look into question number 2, question number 3, 8, 9, 25, 8 is equal to 2 raised to 3, 9 is equal to 3 raised to 2, Five is e 25 is equal to 5 raised to 2. So HCF is actually there is nothing common, so 1, LCM is actually the product of all these 3, that is Uh, 
LCM is 2 raised to 3 into 3 raised to 2 into 5 raised to 2. Third part, question number 1, 12, 15 and 21. 12 is actually 2 raised to 2 into 3. 15 is actually 3 into 5. 21 is equal to 3 into 7. Here the highest common factor is that comes in all 3 is 3. And LCM is equal to 2 raised to 2 into 3 raised to 1 into 5 into 7. Let's find out the product 4 into 3 into 5 into 7. Now comes question number 4. Given the HCF is of 306 and 657 is 9, find the LCM of 306 and 657. Question number 4. HCF of 306 and 657 is given. We need to find LCM. We know HCF into LCM is the product of the numbers. Right? So here we know about the HCF. So LCM can be calculated like this. 306 into 657 divided by HCF. That is equal to 306 into 657. HCF is 9. Calculate and you will find the value of LCM. Yeah. 0, 2, 3 is a 34. Now comes question number 5. Check whether 6 raised to n can end with digit 0 for any natural number n. This is similar to example 5. Here also you need to find the factorization of uh, 6 raised to n. They have asked here if 6 raised to n can it end with 0. So you remember in the last question we said that for a number to end with 0 it must be divisible by 5. That is in the prime factorization of that number 5 should be there. Question number 5. 6 raised to n is actually 2 into 3 the whole raised to n. It can be written as 2 raised to n into 3 raised to n. Here that is 6 raised to n is the product of 2 and 3. That according to uniqueness of factorization theorem. Uniqueness of fundamental theorem. Sorry, not factorization. Uniqueness of fundamental theorem of arithmetic 5 is not in the prime factorization of 6 raised to n. Therefore, 6 raised to n will not end with 0 for any natural number n. Now comes question number 6. Explain why 7 into 11 into 13 plus 13 and 7 into 6 into 5 into 4 into 3 into 2 into 1 plus 5 are composite numbers. Let's look into the first set of number what they have given. 7 into 11 into 13 plus 13. They have asked why is it a composite number? You see what is a composite number? Any number that can be written as a product of prime numbers is called a composite number. So you see in both there are like two terms here. This is one term and this is second term. In both these terms 13 is coming common. So you can take 13 common out, 13 common out and the rest of the number is 7 into 11 in the first term. In the second term left is 13 divided by 13, 1. So you see this is some 13 into you can say 78, right? 78 you can write as prime factors. So you see this number can be written as the product of any two numbers which is not the number itself or one. So this is actually a prime factor. Since this number can be written as the product of prime numbers. Similarly for the next question, next part of the question 7 into 6 into 5 into 4 into 3 into 2 into 1 plus 5. In this also there are two digits here first term here the second term. And from both this we can take 5 common and taking 5 common and we'll write 7 into 6 into 4 into 3 into 2 plus 1. 7 into 6 into 4 into 3 into 2 
plus 1. So, here I can write 5 into k. Let k be any number. Let k, I got here 78. So, k is actually here. k is equal to 7 into 6 into 4 into 3 into 2 into 1. Calculator will get another number. So, here also this can also be written as a product of prime number. Therefore, both are composite. Composite. This is how we proved it. Now, see question number 7. There is a circular path around a sports field. Sonia takes 18 minutes to drive one round of the field while Ravi takes 12 minutes for the same. Suppose they both start at the same point and at the same time and go in the same direction after how many minutes will they meet again at the starting point? Here, here it's Ravi. Let Ravi start here and also suppose this is a circular field. Okay, here. Sonia starts here and both Ravi and Sonia start, start their drive. After 80, she takes 18 minutes to complete one round. And Ravi takes 12 minutes to complete his round. So you see, they have asked, after how many minutes will they meet at the starting point? They need to meet. They would be meeting in between, but they are asked how after how many minutes will they meet at the starting point? Here, like here, the, uh, after one round, Sonia will come at the starting point after 18 minutes, and in the second round, it will take her 36 minutes. So it would be like in the after first round, she will take 18 minutes. After second round, she will take 36 minutes. Then again, add 18, she will take um, 54 minutes etc. Here Ravi, here Ravi, he is also uh, taking rounds and after 12 minutes he will complete one round and after 24 minutes he will complete the second round. After 36 minutes he will complete the third round. So they have asked after how many minutes will they meet the first point. You see here after 36 minutes they are coming at the same point. So he, um, instead of writing this like this, what do you see? Here is actually 36 is the LCM of is a 36 is actually the LCM least common multiple. Here 36 is the multiple of 18 as well as 36 is the multiple of 12. This is the least common multiple. Also in 72 also they will be meeting. So but that's not least. So in this question you will have to find the LCM of 18 and 12. Sonia takes 18 minutes. Ravi takes 12 minutes. They will meet at the starting point for the first time, that means least. After LCM of 18 and 12. How to calculate LCM? 18 is equal to 2, 2 into 3 into 3, 12 is equal to 2 into 2 into 3. LCM is 2 into 3 square, 2 square into 3. Therefore, LCM is the 2 square into 3 square, 4 into 9, 36 minutes. So they will meet after 36 minutes. Okay, so this is all for fundamental theorem of arithmetics. We learned how to calculate HCF and LCM using prime factorization method. And we also learned few of the questions, exercise questions and how LCM and HCF are being used in our daily life. So do practice more questions and if you have any doubt, do come in and do do put your doubts in the comment section. So in the next class, we'll be discussing about how to prove a number is irrational. So we'll see you in the next video. Thank you.